Hi everybody, my name is Yoyo Lin. I am an interdisciplinary artist. I am calling in from the unceded territory of the Lenape people, uh, now known as New York City. I would like to do a visual description of myself. I am a Taiwanese American woman with shorter length hair that's kind of bleached at the ends. Uh, I have on a high collar gray shirt with a beaded necklace and a red lip. And to my right, there is a beautiful window with sunlight filtering in, uh, a fiddle fig leaf tree with big, luxurious green leaves. And behind me is a light blue tapestry uh, made by a Taiwanese textile artist. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to be here today with you. I'm hoping we can find and hold space together in a way that feels intentional and fulfilling and nourishing for you during this time. There's a lot of shifting that's happening um, with things opening back up. Uh, some countries are locking back down. Uh, wherever you are, I hope this video finds you in uh, some form of care, some form of civility, uh, some form of beauty in this time. And yeah, I'm grateful that I can share this time with you. So let's get started. So today we're gathered for this module called Embody Technologies Performance Collages on Zoom. And this is actually a method that I've been using all throughout this pandemic during this time of remote togetherness and a lot of our, you know, convenings have been on the Zoom platform. And there have been a lot of instances where I would need to perform or do a VJ set, a video jockey set, um, where I'm like mixing videos live, uh, which is something that often happens in physical spaces. Um, if you go see a concert, there's usually like someone playing animations and like the animations are seats of music. Um, and a lot of that was what I would do when physical spaces and gatherings were happening. So actually a lot of what this process is, is based on my own art practice. I often look at ways in which we can build language and understanding for different kinds of embodied experiences specifically experiences pertaining to illness, trauma, and disability. Um, and also just thinking through, yeah, like how healing resides within technology, how uh, media art can be a vehicle for processing complex experiences. And also, yeah, thinking through like, what is performance and like, how do we perform, you know, not necessarily with our physical bodies, but using different kinds of technology. So we're all entering into the space with different kinds of technology and different kinds of capacity. So I would like us to honor that. And uh, I want to say that, you know, these are the tools I'm using, but there are also tools out there that can do many of the same things. So for this module, we would need a computer, a phone with a camera, and an internet connection. I'm specifically using a MacBook Pro uh, mine is just from 2015, it's a pretty old computer. Um, we'll be using virtual cameras such as virtual camera from OBS. So to give you a little bit more context about my practice, I've been creating my own self archive using this tool I created called the Resilience Journal, uh, a tool for tracking understanding and holding space for complex embodied experiences. And for me, this journal specifically looks at my chronic illness and disability experience. You can see on the circle visualizer, there are different dimensions I'm tracking daily for a month, ranging from tracking chronic pain to social pressures, to asking for help from others. I wanted to highlight the ways in which illness presented itself in my life on my own terms moving away from the hard data and medicalization of our bodies and minds, or body minds, and holding space for soft data. Hard data are quantitative numbers that make up our lives. Heartbeats per minute, blood pressure, medicine dosages, etc. 
Soft data is qualitative data. Soft data is data as human experience, full of opinions, suggestions, interpretations, contradictions, and uncertainties. Soft data holds space for nuance. I want us today to attune our senses to the soft data that exists in and all around us and to hold space for our embodied experiences with some writing prompts. Is there space for us to build our own language, our own archives about our embodied experiences? Let us open up a text application on our devices. I like using Notes app on my iPhone or computer. You may also use Google Doc or simply a piece of paper and a pen. I like us to do this writing prompt. We have three main questions. Feel free to answer all of them, or if there is one that particularly stands out to you, you can focus on answering just one. Up to you. So the questions are, during this time of great change, what is top of body slash mind for you? Number two, how do you take care? Or in other words, how do you find ways to heal? Number three is how do you give care to others? Or how do you find ways or create ways to help others find healing or ways to cope? 